What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and he's back. It's back. That's right. We're once again. We're gonna be opening. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no more of that Porygon Z. Oh, I feel bad because Porygon was a very interesting Pokemon. I was gonna say he was very cool, although I felt like he was never that good in any way but I always had a I always liked Porygon and therefore Porygon 2 and Porygon Z but man they did them they did them dirty with that <laughs> that collection box all right we have another box of hidden fates and man whenever I open this I love this texturing I feel like I don't recall them doing it on other products and Yep, ETB still such a good product. It's crazy. Like every once in a while on the Pokemon TCG deals Reddit, they'll be like, "Oh, you they're in stock." And to be honest, I I usually post it on the Discord, but like by the time I post it and by the time so any like anyone sees it or 2 minutes later, by the time even I click on the link even though it just got posted, they're all gone. And so it's so crazy. I think the other day, like, Amazon had some Charizard tins, and boom, they are gone in an instant. You know, if you if you go to a new website, and you have to, like, oh, let me create, I have to create an account, put in my address, put in my credit card information, you know, I think that's game over. The, the thing will be sold out before you can put your order in. That's how much hype there is. So, it's it's been, <laughs> it's been interesting. Luckily, I was able to get a couple of things so hold hold us over for some time but uh, all right let's get into our first pack we have a graveler farfetched oh sorry I don't remember your name but someone's like oh I really like that farfetched art I'm totally with you farfetched is actually it's kind of like Porygon a very unique Pokemon that you know was never really celebrated but was always unique and a little cool we have Bill's analysis for our first rare and a Glaceon what is this? Glaceon like number three? So we got a shiny GX right off the bat. This is turning starting off as a very good opening. But man, these dupes. Like I don't remember how many shinies there are, but there are so many. I feel like I only have maybe like seven different ones. And then for like the full art trainers, I think I just have the um like Five GOIs, six Jesse and James. So, ah, the dupes are the dupes are the dupes are real. I'm getting getting consistent pulls, consistently the same pulls. <laughs> oh, such so very strange, very strange situation. Grass energy, Nurse Joy, Sabrina, Scyther, Eevee, a Clefairy. Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Vaporeon, Hollow, and then a Hollow, oh, Shiny Quagsire. This one is new, so I'm super stoked about that. We've been holding a lot of whoopers, but we finally got our Quagsire. Not familiar with this card. Wash out as often as you would like. Before your turn, you may move water energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. Hmm. That must have some kind of application, right? Let's see, I think Blastoise, does it return to your deck from your active? Maybe that's maybe it could be used for something like that. I don't remember exactly how Blastoise GX works or in Cosmic Eclipse. Actually, maybe maybe this quirk says are rotated out, I can't remember. But actually, Cosmic Eclipse, I believe the who was he with? Piplup, Piplup, Blastoise, I think had an interesting potential synergy with the Blastoise GX. Speaking of Cosmic Eclipse, should be, I, I am excited about it. Uh, I'll probably kind of like put some feelers out through the Discord and, you know, through the comments to figure out what people want to see opened and we'll just basically accommodate the viewers and the people in Discord as best we can. But my point is, you know, we are definitely going to do some, at least some Cosmic Eclipse and we'll still probably have some Hidden Fates left over. So we'll go with whatever it is that people want to see. So we have a Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, 
Magic Carp, Blaine's Last Stand, and then just a Jigglypuff. So we got a couple hits already, but back to back duds on those two. Let's see, I believe I mentioned this in a previous video, but I have put in an order, I haven't gotten it yet, for a Nintendo Switch. So at some point when I have like a free weekend, I'm not sure when that'll be, but we'll probably try to, and I have that, and try to figure out like get a capture card and maybe we can try to set up uh, you know I'll definitely do some content with sword and shield and stuff like that but if there's other games that maybe you'd be interested in seeing uh, I'm toying ooh full art birds still looking for the rainbow variety but I'm very content pulling as many of these as we can and then Blaine again if there's any games that you're potentially interested in seeing let me know and let me know if you're going to be getting sword and shield and if so which one are you leaning towards i did see that they have a double pack you don't really see why i would need both i'm not the type to play both i feel like cool like so let's take pokemon go and a lot of people have multiple accounts that way they can you know it's very useful they count as multiple people for raids and just makes things easier, but the idea of maintaining and keeping up with two accounts just feels very tiresome. And I probably don't have it in me to play both Sword and Shield, so I'll probably just pick one. But my question to you guys is, are you getting it and which one are you going for? Oh, Frog of Okay. Guys, I, I feel like I say I got a lot of dupes, but we are doing very well. Pretty sure this is our first one, Gale Shriken. When you play this Pokemon for your hand, evolve it. Pokemon during your turn, you may put two damage. I think this is is the uh, the Greninja. Is that the one with the other Shriken where you can do 30 damage? Can't remember. But yeah, for Sword and Shield. I didn't, haven't done too much research about the differences. I'm sure they're pretty minor, but I'm curious what you guys are hoping to pick up. If I had to pick right now, I'm pretty sure I would do sword. Something about that shield, uh, I don't remember his name, but like his face is like, I don't know, in the middle of a shield. If you were to like, I feel like he is a tank that is literally for face checking something. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks ridiculous compared to the sword where, I think I mentioned in the previous video, but it reminds me of um, Amaterasu from, I don't remember what the game's called, Okami something. Oh my, <laughs> got another Jesse and James. So our biggest hits, so while we get get two, oh man, we're getting a lot of water Pokemon too, and then Mr. Mime. So we got two new shinies and then all then a lot of very good cards that we are really in high numbers of. At the end of this, I'll just um, pause for that motorcycle to pass by. At the end, I'll just do a quick show off of my Rocket Full Art supporters. Although this is the only printing of them compared to the other Full Art supporters where they're like reprints. So that's, in that respect, that's huge. And man, we have a lot of hits. We're already at that five hit mark, which is kind of like par, if you ask me, for these ETBs. So we're in like the bonus right now. So hopefully we get at least one more hit. Yeah, sword and shield, if I had to pick right now, I'd go with sword. And it'll be interesting. To be honest, I have not played a Pokemon like Game Boy games since maybe gold and silver. I did play, I did have red. Didn't do yellow with that print dot right there. Jolteon and then Koga. Two packs left. Let's get one more hit. But yeah, it's been s probably since gold and silver. I don't think I played emerald or ruby or whatever, well, all the other ones that came out. I imagine the, the basics are still the same. If not, might be a bit of a learning curve for me, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. But yeah, let me know 
if you're going to be picking up and if you'd be interested in videos or streams or anything like that or for any other switch game that i don't really know many switch games beyond like smash brothers and then all right we'll take three eighths hitter to put us past that five and three eighths hits not bad not bad here we go with our last pack uh, why did we save mew for the last one not even a shiny mew in this set but here we go as always guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support on the channel follow us on instagram although i've been bad about posting on there been chatting it up all day with people on on the discord though so definitely join us there if you have yet to already there's that far-fetched again brock's gym coughing ekans cubone magikarp geodude mr mime follow by brock's gym again so a pretty good opening we have three eighths energy another Justin james we'll show off our collection in a little bit frogadier new oh there's a lot of water pokemon too the birds, I guess Articoon's in there. We have a number of these. Quagsire. And then Glaceon GX. So I'm pretty content with that box. Not a home run, but very good pulls nonetheless. And uh, let me go find some Giovanni's and Jesse's and James. Be right back. All right, I'm back. So I'll just add a couple cards to this stack and then we'll go through it. Now, we've opened a lot of Hidden Fates. We'll start with that premise, but... When we pull certain cards, we pull certain cards, and we do, <laughs> and we don't, we go all out, I, I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Right, let me just, uh... Alright, let's see, where do we start? Let's start with some Giovanni's. Alright, actually we're going to do that one last. Let's see, what else we pulled? We pulled Glaceon, and then the Full Art Birds. We have four of the Full Art Birds. Four Glaceons, and one of the winners of our giveaway also pulled a Glaceon, and then Jesse and James, and I don't mind this. I want to be very clear about this. I'm stoked about pulling as many of these as we can find. I love this art, but we're doing pretty good on the Jesse and James front. Most likely, maybe we'll do some like Discord giveaways where of like the stuff that I have dupes of. Uh, you know, we'll just pick one or a couple winners and they can pick from the dupes and we'll just send them that card. Hopefully help some people complete some collections. But uh, yeah, Jesse and James once again. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.